We just made this North Pole directional signpost, and we even have a solar lantern up top, and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week. It's holiday decorating time, and our most requested project is a holiday or a Christmas directional signpost. We made one of these last year at Halloween time. It was a little witch's broom, super cute. And we were requested a year ago to make a holiday version. We never got to it. We were asked for it again this year. Finally here, we've got a little welcome to the North Pole directional sign. And we'll need to know where Santa's workshop is so we could <laughs> pop in for a collab. We're gonna need to know where the elf village is because you know there's a crazy party going down in the ville. And I'm going to need to take a little stroll down Candy Cane Lane. This is a great project. It's easy to do. You can even do it with the kids. It starts off small, but it'll be pretty big. So the kids will be impressed. And you only need a few supplies. Step one, we're going to gather all of our supplies. We needed a one by two. This is going to be the post for the sign post. We needed some quarter inch MDF. These are going to be all of our little sign pieces. We're going to be using our Foxy Hughes paints, and this is only going to take four colors. You're going to use your Ash Avenger White, your Cussing Crimson, your Great Escape Green, and your Apple Raid Green. We're also going to use some of this Starbond Thick. This is going to glue MDF pieces to MDF, and we'll use a little wood glue to glue the signpost pieces or MDF to the pine board. And I'm super excited. We've got an extra little optional piece to this signpost. Now we pick this up at Home Depot or Lowe's. You can grab these little solar lights. These things were $5. We used them for our lantern project a couple of months ago. We're gonna add this little solar light to the top of our post. We've not done this before, so we're super excited to see how it looks. I think it's gonna be perfect for a little holiday seasonal post. And that is it. Step two. We're gonna make all of our cuts. We're gonna take this down to 36 inches. I just need 36 inches of this guy. One cut, I'm gonna make all these cuts with my buddy, pocket saw. If you don't have a pocket saw, first of all, holiday season is coming. This little seven and a quarter inch saw is great for any kind of little home decor DIY projects. But if you don't have him, you can cut this over at the trim section at any hardware store. Super simple, use their little miter box saw. You could probably just get one of those three foot pickets. Done. Oh, perfect, yeah. Yeah, safety Thanks. first, Kim. Safety first, Garrett. And done. And done. We're gonna take our MDF over to the Eon Nova 14 and cut out our kit. Eon lasers are the real deal. They give you precision, power, and ease of use that's essential for creating high quality pieces like this one. Whether you're just getting into laser crafting or you're already running a small business, Eon machines can handle it all. Plus, we've got a special link in the description. By purchasing through it, you'll support our channel while snagging the same tools we rely on every day. So if you're looking to upgrade your laser crafting game, check out Eon Lasers through our link below. Let's create something amazing together. If you have your own laser, the SVG is available in our store. And if you don't have a laser, we have the DIY kit also available in our store. Step three. Now we paint. This is the fun part of the project. We're gonna lay all our pieces out, group them by color, and let's put a coat of this Foxy Hughes paint on it. Our Foxy Hughes paints are high quality acrylic emulsion paints designed specifically for both DIY and professional crafters. They're versatile for use on various surfaces, making them ideal for creative projects that need durability and style. What makes them great? UV protection. It's built to withstand sun exposure. Foxy Hughes paints are perfect for outdoor projects, helping colors remain vibrant over time. They're weather resistant. Their weatherproof properties make the paints excellent for exterior use as they resist peeling and damage from the environmental elements. They're self-sealing. Foxy Hughes paints save extra steps as they don't require additional sealants, making your projects not only look great, but last longer. And they're stain blocking and mildew resistant. Formulated to resist common issues like staining and mildew, they're easy to maintain and ideal for high use or high moisture areas. 
Foxy Hughes paints are favored by crafters looking for rich color, durability, and professional grade results in each project. Step four, time to assemble. We're gonna bring all of the little pieces together for the signs using some of this star bond thick. Then we're gonna put them on the post. So we're gonna start by assembling each one of these little guys. MDF to MDF with the star bond. We also put score marks on each piece so that I have perfect alignment. I don't have to use a frame or try to guess or eyeball it. Mm -hmm. That's not my thing. I like to just be able to lay it down and keep moving. A little tip with the Starbond glue. While it is great for gluing MDF to MDF, if you get a little glue outside of your pieces, especially on darker boards, it'll dry with a white hazy look to it. So if you get a little oozing out and you need to pick it back up, use one of these little foam wedge sponges, dab up the excess glue. It's the perfect way to to pick up the glue without leaving that residue. If you try and wipe the glue, it'll leave a residue, but the sponge here just soaks up the glue and pulls it right up. Nice. We're gonna attach the little top piece that will allow us to put our lamp in there. Here's where our little lamp goes. Little collar. So we're gonna make a little collar for it right now. Now we're gonna attach all of our little sign pieces to our post. We're gonna lay them out Mark the bottom with a pencil, throw some wood glue on the post, a little bit of star bond on the actual sign so it'll hold for now. And then the glue, the wood glue will hold for good. I'll let Kim do the laying out. All right, so I know that the collar ends right here. Okay. So I'm just gonna eyeball this, I think. Oh, no, 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 yeah, no, 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 yeah, no, 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 How far is it? Yeah. So. Maybe about right there. All right, sounds good. All right, give it a little more. Where's your fancy mark? That's my fancy mark. We have still yet to buy a new bottle of glue, so we're still painting. You don't have to paint yours. We're just <laughs> painting ours because we have a half gallon bucket of glue. There's a lot of glue. You know, we could always just buy a uh, smaller bottle of glue. I know, it, it's on my list of things to do. I just did not, I haven't done it yet. inconspicuous place. <laughs> I 
Oh, good. perfect. Now you got a little breathing room. <laughs> Slide it out like that. There you go. And there's some glue up right here. Here, you want the wood glue? A little bit of both. I'll hold this, I'll let you wood glue it. And I'm going to glue this piece back on. You know what? I'm going to give this piece a tacking also. Well, do you want me to mm, watch your fingers now? Watch it now. I'll come in from the back. Let's keep rolling it. Keep rolling it. Keep rolling. Okay, set this down, and you can build the foot. Yeah, we'll build Just the hang foot. It, hang it up. I'll put it back oh, here for now. Set it aside. Now we're gonna assemble the base. We have four pieces, they're gonna slide together. Two pieces that are pointing down, or the open end of pointing is pointing down, and two pieces where the open end is pointing up. So up goes on the bottom. go. And the idea is that this opening is the size of the post. All right, so now let's put the post in. Let's do it. Post is in. Oh, let's put the top on now. Hold on. And lower this down. Oh, well, there are fancy little cart down here. This is perfect. All right, and we're just going to slide the top in the hole in the top. Boom. Look at that little guy. Is he so cute? All right, now, he's cute just like he is. But what I'm seeing in my mind's eye, it needs a big bow here. It does need a big bow. I think it needs a big bow, definitely. I was thinking we could candy cane stripe the post. That's another option. It's pretty or easy. Or just do it in white. Tape. I didn't really envision it in white, probably because. There's a lot of red, I guess. Yeah. And then, I don't know, what else does it need? What else does it need? What would you add? Snow, maybe? I think there needs to be a little snow drift down here in the bottom covering the foot. I think that would be cute. But if you're going to make these for a craft show, I think you can pump them out pretty quickly. Oh, yeah, they're just four colors, a couple of cuts. All the letters and stuff are connected, so it goes together easy. Just yeah. add one little bow here, and I think it's done. I, I think, think it's you could pump these out. Do it, Bill, and make it. I am about out of time. I have to go pump out a bunch more of these signposts. You have to go cut one and paint it and show me what you're working with. <laughs> Big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. That's the best way to support this channel. And don't forget to join us on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. for Test Cut Tuesday. We try a new file. We paint it, see if we can put it together. We've got a good one. I had a like brain blast head. yesterday. I can't wait to show you Test Cut Tuesday's file. You're gonna be excited. Um, this one's an easy balance. I just balance it right here. Oh, it was easy. On the bottom. <laughs> yeah, that's an easy balance. I saw you look at it like you were gonna balance it, and then I think you were gonna let it go, and I shouldn't have. I should have just kept my balance. Then you tempted me. Yeah. <laughs> cold through, cold through. Ready? Mm -hmm. Get limber. Not Step three. Now we paint. <laughs> One more like time. a bull in a china shop. I kicked a lot of stuff making that catch. But you made it. All right. Ready? Ready. Step three. Woo. Slap that across the room. Go on now, get paintbrush. All right. This is it. Step three. Three. That was a wimpy throw. Step three.